Hey guys, so this is an old MacBook Air that I picked up off of eBay. Now this is from back in, I believe, 2012. So the 2012 MacBook Air, and this thing is actually, um, it, it's pretty decent even today. It looks pretty nice. Um, so let me pan the camera up a little bit here. Um, ignore the junk in the background. Yeah, so it's, it's pretty decent. They gave me a default username and password, one, two, three, four. So this is what the what it came with. Now I bought this specifically for the purpose of installing Kali Linux. Um, I might do some other things with it, but I actually wanted to uh, install Kali Linux on a MacBook. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but that's gonna come up in the next video directly after this one. So if you look in my list of uh, videos that I posted, you'll see the very next video after this video is gonna be my Kali Linux install video. But this video, I wanted to talk about this MacBook itself. Now, um, the screen looks pretty good, and you'll notice even, um, even uh, usually when I record something with a camera, the screen will have like a flicker or won't look very nice, and I believe it's because it's the retina display that the screen actually looks really nice, even on camera. Even recording the screen with a camera, um, it still looks really great. A lot of times the screen will look okay, but on the camera it comes out terrible. Looks great on here. Now this resolution is actually less than 1080p. Um, it still, I think, counts as uh, HD. It's like, um, you know, high resolution than what you would, uh, um, like partial HD, like what a, the resolution of a DVD movie from, you know, way back in 2005 or whatever. But in, anyways, it's less than actual uh, full HD. So it's, it's not 1080p, but e even still, it looks pretty nice. So this is a nice looking screen. Um, you know, got all your, got everything on your launch pad here. Um, I actually kind of, this, this would actually be kind of nice to use as a, you know, running Mac OS, but I believe this is old enough that you can't update. It no longer receives updates. I haven't checked to make sure that's the case, but I believe this is old enough that you can't actually update to the latest Mac OS. Um, it is an Intel based system and it is running a, it has an i7 and it has eight gigs of RAM. So you'll see here, dual core Intel i7, two gigahertz. Um, and tells you like the cache sizes and stuff and it has eight gigs of memory. And the hard drive I believe is like a, what was it like a, um, let's open the disk tool here. Disk utility, I believe it's like a 250 gig, uh, um, yeah, two 250 gig SSD. So this is a pretty reasonable um, device. So I paid under $200 for this on eBay. You can get them with the i7. If you get an i5 um, of this year, you can get it closer to, you know, $120, $130 um, from what I've seen poking around eBay. But for an i7, it's going to get closer to $200, um, but you can still get it under. Now, um, so this, this was a pretty reasonable price, but I've seen them cheaper for i7s. Um, this is this being a 2012 MacBook air <clears throat> now the thing is i actually thought i was purchasing this was listed as a macbook air but the pictures on ebay were, were showing me that um the pictures with this listing were actually of a macbook pro even though it was listed as a macbook air now the specs are all correct it is a macbook air like they said but i thought that they had they took pictures that, that showed a macbook pro and i thought i was accidentally being given being sold a macbook pro and they just labeled it wrong and it was a i, th I believe a macbook pro would cost you a little bit with, with these specs would cost you a little bit more and it would definitely i'm, I'm pretty sure it would come with a higher resolution screen. So that would have been a better deal, but um, turns out they they labeled it correct, the title was correct, the pictures were wrong. I'm not gonna complain about it, it's still a good deal, so no big deal there. Now, um, <clears throat> oh, what, what else? Uh, let, let's take a look at the back of this. L let's take a look at the port. So yeah, you're gonna get, I believe, a Firewire or I, I believe that's fire. I've, I've never used this type of port before, believe it or not. It has a regular USB-A port, another USB-A port on this side, um, and it has the, the magnetic um, power adapter here, and this did come with a power adapter. A lot of them don't. Um, yeah, so magnetic, That this is something people liked and people didn't like it when they took it away. Um, has the headphone jack, and I'm actually not sure off the top of my head what this 
is, what this little thing here is. Um, I, I haven't looked it up and I haven't come across it before um, in any model that I have. Now, uh, th this Mac is actually, so, I mean, I already have a couple MacBooks that are newer than this and better. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't need to use this for everyday use or anything. So I, I still have my regular everyday use Mac that I use when I want to use Mac OS and I have like a ton of PCs and stuff for running Linux and Windows and whatever else. So as nice as this would actually be nice to run Mac OS, even though you can't get the latest version of Mac OS on it, I actually, um, uh, I, I don't feel too bad putting Kali Linux on it and that's a great use for it. And this is a great device for running Kali Linux. Um, you know, it's a nice build. Apple hardware it always comes like uh, great build quality in my opinion. Um, really nice looking screws, even though they're not standard. I actually kind of like the fact that I get non-standard screws because it gives me a uh, an opportunity to use my uh, toolkits. I'll try to remember to put a link to the toolkit that will allow you to open these up, my iFixit toolkit, but it has all these security screws and non-standard screw types, which I think is pretty neat, although that is kind of messed up that Apple does that on purpose to prevent you from easily repairing your stuff. Anyways, um, yeah, great build quality. Um, terrific hardware I know you can get it's Intel based so you can get like a cheaper um, you know you can get cheaper laptops and generally cheaper hardware that is going to be Intel based you know before the M1 Max came out you get cheaper Intel hardware um, you know higher specs for low, lower price um, so you know people call that the Apple tax but this will easily run Mac OS if you like Mac OS that's a positive and it yeah, easily runs Mac OS without having to create a Hackintosh, assuming you want to be running Mac OS. And the build quality itself is pretty good. The only thing that's come close are the Microsoft Surface um, notebooks, and not all of them. Most of them don't. There, I've seen a few of them where the build quality is about on par with a Mac. But otherwise, yeah, great build quality, runs Mac OS great if that's what you're into, and it runs all the Apple stuff if that's what you want. And it's in the Apple ecosystem. But it all depends, it's a choice, you gotta pick what's right for you. So if this is not the, if this is not the piece of hardware for you, and then it's not, that's, you know, personal decision, personal preference and all that. Um, you know, I, I don't necessarily, I'm not bought into one specific brand or not, or the other. I use a, a ton of different brands. I do use a fair amount of Apple stuff though. Um, I think Apple stuff is great. Not an Apple hater, not a Microsoft hater. Um, any case, yeah, let's see. The actual model of this, which I probably should have shown you first, is gonna be right there. Let's see if I can, yeah, I think I'm focusing on this. It's gonna be a little small in the video. Um, I don't think I can zoom in anymore without it getting blurry, but it's an A1465. Yeah, so A1465. That's the model of MacBook uh, Air. Now I'm gonna try to put that in the, probably in the title of this video, if not in the description. And if it's not, you know, if, if I, for some reason, crazy reason for yet, just leave a comment down below saying, hey, you said you were gonna put that there. Um, you know, any comments you wanna leave on this video, if there's something you know that I don't know, you know, definitely feel free to leave a comment. Um, any questions, criticisms, whatever you wanna say, leave a comment down below for sure. You might wanna give me a thumbs up and you probably wanna hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the other great content coming up. We've done um, we've done things on like, uh, you know, installing Linux on a Chromebook, um, done like Chromebooks, Chromeboxes, uh, you know, Intel hardware, Apple hardware. We, we uh, showed you how to like reset the password on an older, uh, um, on an older Apple laptop, like a really ancient one, much older than this. And we've done a ton of great videos and we have a ton more coming up. Um, Raspberry Pis, 3D printers, electronics, Linux, servers, databases, uh, networking, all sorts of great stuff. You're not gonna wanna miss that. Plus you're not gonna wanna miss the next video coming up after this, which I should be, if you're watching this video, that next video is probably gonna be already up there. So you might wanna go check that now. Like don't wait for it to come out. You don't even have to subscribe for that video. You can just go check my list of published videos. So I plan on publishing both of these videos at the exact same time. I'm gonna publish this video first and then the video showing how to install Kali Linux. I'm gonna publish that video like probably a minute later. So if you don't see it, it's because I'm like actively clicking the button to publish the next video. But this one, this video is coming out and then the a Kali Linux on this MacBook Air is coming out. Um, I think that's all I wanted to cover with this. Uh, I covered the, the hard disk, the CPU, the, the uh, 
the memory. That's kind of what I was looking for, the price. Uh, I think it was a good deal. I could probably find something cheaper if I looked a little bit more carefully. Might be something with like bigger dents in it and maybe like um, maybe missing the power adapter or something. Or, or maybe if I'm lucky without so many dents and scratches and with a power adapter. But I still think this was, a, this was in line with what you would get if you pick something with an i7. And um, yeah, it does have these scuff marks here and it has a few small scratches you can barely see here. Um, so it's not in perfect cosmetic quality, but it's still pretty good. And it actually still looks pretty nice. It has all these feet on. This is one thing that commonly comes off on these. It, nothing on the edges of this is like broken or, or, or anything like that. So it's it's in pretty good condition. And I'm pretty happy with it. As a Even as a, like a general purpose, you know, everyday use laptop, this would be pretty excellent. But um, this is, I, I feel like this is probably gonna be great for running Kali Linux too. So we will see how that goes. So that's pretty much it for today. You know, hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe, leave a com comment down below. Um, hopefully you found this video interesting, uh, maybe even useful. Definitely you should probably find the next video useful and, and interesting, probably even more so than this, a lot more so than this. The next video is gonna be the exciting one, I think. Um, it's gonna be exciting for me, for sure. Um, anyways, that's it. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you on the next video.